What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my friends, subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Caps to side you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you like to donate or feel guided to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you feel guided to do so. Um, I received the strangest channeling message, channeled message in, so I'm going to deliver it. I'm assuming it's for a person named David, uh, named David, D-A-V-I-D. Um, I'm presuming, but... Um, We'll keep on. I'll if I channeling more, I'll I'll let this person know. <laughs> you plug in how it resonates. Um I heard a name in here. I heard David. So just saying. Um, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um okay, so don't forget the basics. It is a free general collective reading. So if you're not David or somebody connected to David or this reading isn't for you, then you have to let it fly. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? I just want to make that very, very, very abundantly clear, okay? All right. Love you guys so much. Okay. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, this is not lingerie. Just like FYI. It's not lingerie. It is a kimono. I got it at a yard sale. They currently have them at your Walmart right now for 20 something bucks. But it is a kimono. It's not lingerie. Okay. Okay. So the channel message I received was um, um, a person named David. I heard a person named David is about to take his ex-wife to court soon. I heard going to file papers very soon um, because he has found out that his ex-wife was start stalking and uh, obsessing and voyeuring a feminine energy of the past and because of drugs. I heard he will win custody. So he will win custody, meaning uh, I'm assuming a child or children. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I heard he will win custody. Whoever this person, this person named David is. So I'm assuming this message is for David or somebody positively connected to David. God, I hope the ex-wife's not watching. Hell, I don't know. But if you're watching ex-wife, I heard he's going to win. Um, just a little FYI, because apparently there's drugs involved with you, ex-wife. And you're an obsessive stalker, creepy voyeur camera lurker um, on a feminine energy of the past. And apparently he um, has just found this out, or he's about to, coupled with the drug evidence. I'm, I mean, how the hell is that not an easy win for kid or kids? I have no idea. Um, to me, that's period, point blank, bar none, boom. Uh, but I'm not a judge, and I'm not a lawyer. So I'm just a citizen that's giving my perspective on things. But... You would think it'd be an easy point blank bar none. Yes, please God take custody and get them far away from that psycho weirdo. But I'm not a judge or a lawyer, nor am I David. So you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard a person named David. So I'm assuming he's a feminine energy. Uh, not a femme. Sorry, he's not a femme. I don't think he's a femme. I think he's a masculine energy. He helped produce the kids with an ex-wife. So he has to be a masculine um, I heard David, like D-A-V-I-D. I, that, to, to me, could be a first name, middle name, last name, nickname. Um, but his name is David. Um, I will tell you that. So you plug it in, how it resonates. This is the strangest channeling message. Well, no, it's not the strangest I've ever received. But it has to be one of the strangest. There's a reason um, I'm getting it. And I, I mean, you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages you have reflected. I strongly feel, David, you might watch my channel. Oh, there's too many. Way too many. I think you watch my channel, David. Or somebody connected to you watches my channel. Or maybe somebody that knows you 
maybe is going to share this video to you, possibly. There's a reason I'm picking you up so strong, sir, whoever you are. I heard you were going to win. Oh, my gosh. You can't make this crap up, even if you wanted to. Beginnings with peace. You're going to have peace after this court situation. I heard you will win. New beginnings. Uh, I'm feeling full custody here. I heard you will win. I mean, how the hell can you not win with this this ex-wife? Oh, it sounds like she's on drugs or, or around somebody on drugs. I mean, there's drugs involved. So, you either know this or you're about to find it out. New beginnings about to um, come for you. With um, I heard you will win. Child, custody or child or children. How, how many ever child or children you have. The, to me, this is the winning of the custody. Um, after this court situation, I heard you're going to file paperwork soon on your ex-wife. So she is a legally divorced wife of yours is what I'm feeling here. Person named David, whoever you are. Peace. I think you're going to get peace in this situation. I think you're worried about your kids. I think you're worried what she's putting them around. Um, I mean, well, and I would too, if my ex-husband, if I knew he was voyeuring, voyeuring in some weird, creepy, deepy voyeur camera on somebody, and he was um, around drugs or doing drugs, I would do the exact same damn thing. And that's just the truth, for real, for real. So I think it's going to bring you peace of mind. It's going to bring peace in this situation, peace for the kids, peace for you, new beginnings for you, new beginnings for the kid or kids. However, that resonates. Oh my gosh. Number 22 or 28 could be very significant numbers in your life, possibly. David or somebody connected to David. Um, it could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in, in your life, possibly. Number 22 or 28. Oh, my goodness. And we have been getting a lot of court energy in here recently about people taking people to uh, court specifically for custody of children. Um, because of abuse of a family in the past um, and people in the past um, and then the exes and exes families proving with evidence through receipts of betting energy and actual clips of video camera evidence of the voyeur cameras um, of them voyeuring in people's homes. I mean, a lot of it recently, a lot, a lot, a lot. So it's not just you, David, if this resonates for you, you're not alone. Just want to let you know. Spirit messages you have for, uh, for the collective. Holy crap. But you definitely have an ex-wife. And it is a legally divorced ex-wife. Now, whether you're the only ex-husband or she has 50 million ex-husbands, I don't know. But you're definitely an ex-husband of her. I'll tell you that. Spirit messages you have for the collective. And your name is David. Fair messages you have for collective. Ow. Broken heart. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Door to romance reverse. I think this is the um, divorce energy. And you have a broken heart. And uh, well, hell, I'd have a broken heart too if I found out my ex-wife was a damn drug addict or around drug addicts or putting my kids around drugs or voyeuring through and obsessing over feminine energy in the past and being some creepy deepy lurker. I hell, I'd be broken hearted too. I'd be worried about her mental instability. And I hope you claim that in the court of law because I'd be claiming mental mental instability on her all damn day long. And that's just the freaking truth, man. Broken heart. This masculine energy, David, knows she is around a drug addict. A very heavy drug addict. Oh, my God. I heard this masculine energy, David. So, you, David, you know she's around a very heavy drug addict. So, she might be a drug addict or just around a drug addict. And, honestly, I feel she's sexually connected to him. Very sexually connected to him. Very. Oh, that's 
Oh, that's confirmation. Very sexually connected to him. That's double confirmation in the reading. So she's having sex with him. Um, and I think, but honestly, David, I think you know this. I don't think it took me to tell you this. I think you already knew she was having sex with this dude. And I think you already knew about this dude. For some of you, Davids, if this resonates for you, maybe you didn't. And maybe you're learning it in here right now. But we have broken heart, upright, with daughter romance reversed. That's the cheating energy. All Well, it's not cheating energy. It's just her moving on. But she's moving on with the damn drug addict. And she has child or children. That's not fucking smart. That's screw hanging off. Just saying. I really, truly hope you claim mental instability because this chickadoo, she's not right. Just saying, just saying. But I think you're broken hearted about this because one, I think you know she's moved on, which, but you have to deal with that in your own self. And two, um, you know she's banging some drug addict, um, basically. And uh, I wouldn't be broken hearted if my ex moved on, which he did move on. He's moved on for years. But I would be broken hearted and pissed if he was with a drug addict. Or if he was a drug addict. And that would just be the damn truth because of my kids. Um, and that's the truth. But everybody handles it differently. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I heard she's very sexually connected to him. But I think you already know this, David. And you've got a broken heart. Because that's why you're pulling broken heart upright. Oh, my God. Daughter romance reversed. Um, I think this is you. I think you might be single. Um, and you've got peace in your life. And you're starting new beginnings. Or you're about to have peace in your life starting new beginnings. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I think. I don't think you're um, out there banging drug addicts is what I think. But she is. Getting life together. About to cream the hell out of her. And other negative series of tame events will occur for other people that were involved in the voyeur camera incident of the past. Oh my God, I heard about to cream the hell out of her. And other negative series of chain events are about to occur for other people that were involved in the voyeur camera um, incident in the past. So, um, yeah, I don't think you're dating anybody or you're not out banging drug addicts. How that resonates, David, whoever you are. Um, I, th I think you're keeping your nose clean. I think you're keeping your nose clean and you, I heard you're about to cream the hell out of her. So, you couldn't cream the hell out of her if you're out there banging drug addicts and doing the same damn thing or voyeuring people through cameras. And that's just the damn truth. So I think you are single, but single as a Pringle. And I don't think you're bringing any negative energies into your life. I feel you're high vibrational or getting high vibrational. I heard you're about to cream the hell out of her. So you have to, I most certainly think that you're keeping your nose clean. I don't think you're bringing any negative drug addict energies around to bang. Um, and I don't think um, you're just out banging anybody. Um, I think you're getting your shit together and you are about to cream the hell out of her and heal that broken heart uh, when you win full custody of either one child or two plus uh, to get them away from this crazy shit is what I think. Uh and we have patience underneath that. So I think you've been patient and basically you're about to strike in a very positive copacetic manner, meaning with, I don't think physically strike anybody. I think strike as in filing paperwork in the court of law to make a power play move, to get your kids away, kid or kids away from this shit. This is disgusting is what this is. Let me see if I hear anything else. You will definitely get vindication here. Know this. Okay, I heard you will definitely get vindication here. Know this. So, David, if you didn't know, it sounds like when you go to the court of law and you do all this, I feel you might have evidence. Maybe you have receipts if they were betting on this um, feminine energy in the voyeur camera in the past. Maybe you have receipts if they were betting. If they wasn't betting, maybe you have video camera footage of the voyeur camera in the past. Maybe you have group chat or email, or text messages, or something proving that she participated in this hidden camera bullshit of the past. Um, maybe you have text or emails or group chat of him, the drug addict, communicating with her. Maybe he's talking about drug deals in the text messages, or group chat, or email, or voicemail, or what have you. 
Um, I heard you're going to pre more, so I think you got something substantial, or you're about to. However, that resonates. You plug it in how it resonates, but I think you've been patiently waiting, and you're about to go into the court of law and strike in a very positive, copacetic manner in the legal way, not in a physical altercation kind of way. With strategy, yes, you've got a plan, or you're about to have a plan. I think I just busted your plan all over the internet, but sorry about that. Um, but you're who I'm, you're the energy I'm pulling in right now. So, guess it was meant to be. Love you guys. Namaste.